Hi everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome and I hope, hope you do come back. So you'll see by the title of this video, this is not a reading. This is a, a very special message and I'll tell you a bit about it before I bring this message forward about how this message came about and why I'm bringing it to you now. So earlier on today I had what can be best described as a little wobble. Um, I have been trying really hard lately to not focus on the past, not dwell too much on the events of the past and trying because you know it's like you're, my brain um, comes up with you know two and two and comes up with five type thing okay. So and this is what I'm always, I'm like always lecturing everyone else in my <laughs> my channel about the you know how they should not focus on the past so I just realized it's the wrong light I have on here um how they should not focus on the past and always focus on the present and so today um I had a little I had a little moment where I was just I was working around the kitchen and suddenly that wee niggle of doubt crept in because I know there's a time coming up very soon where I have to have forgiveness in my heart and I have to be able to forgive. And in that moment, I, I thought about the story I brought um, into my message that I made about Corrie Ten Boom and how she had resorted to, she turned to Jesus and asked for help in that moment in that church in Munich to forgive the SS soldier who had been there present when she watched her brother and sister die at the concentration camp. And I, I thought about that story today and while that negative thoughts creep into my mind thinking how am I going to find forgiveness in this situation I know I'm going to have to find forgiveness and and I, I immediately picked up my prayer beads <clears throat> and I went straight into prayer and immediately asked Lord Jesus to walk with me when the time comes and give me that strength I need to give forgiveness and understanding and compassion um, and try not to let my fears and everything hold me back from finding forgiveness in my heart and you know because I, I I was trying not to let the fear of not being able to forgive creep in today and so as I was in deep in this prayer and asking Jesus to help me and give me the strength and you know give me strength and courage to find that forgiveness in my heart um I felt the urge to pick up a piece of paper and I started I started to write um and what came through was a very beautiful what seemed to be a, what seems to be a very beautiful message from Lord Jesus so I read over it and I thought this seems because I was feeling the love as I prayed and I was writing but I didn't want to I thought I don't want to share this with anyone until I went into meditation and really confirmed this is a message. I don't want to be one of these people that brings forward messages, channeled messages, unless they're authentic. And I've always said with, with my channel, I will not say anything unless I feel it to be true. Even my readings, I don't like saying things just for the sake of it unless I feel genuinely called to say it. So I went into my meditation, spent time um, in meditation and it got confirmed to me this is indeed a message to come through from Lord Jesus. So this is just a very short video and you'll see from the title this is a message and I've I've tried to I, I because I was writing um so much I, I I said I wrote down somewhere twice I, I jumbled up some sentences but I'm going to read to you as best as I can um, before I move on to record I'm going about to record my reading I've got my cards out here but I didn't want to put this message in with my actual reading. So I will tell you the message that came through and I feel quite honoured and privileged that Lord Jesus felt and I think he wanted me to use my my wobbly moment today as a, a learning, um, a kind of teaching moment for other people to say because the, the message I'm about to tell you, you'll understand why this message came through for other people because I was basically saying, you know, I have to, I have to, you know, stand in my truth, stand in my authentic self and 
the one thing I got from my meditation today was that my vulnerability and my honesty about um, my journey and some of the stuff I've been through is one of my greatest strengths. So I think today and this message is to let people know that it's there's always a way to find forgiveness in your heart for someone regardless of the situation and I'll explain to you why this message came through um, why I'm saying that after you hear this message okay so I'm going to try and read it as best I can it's all, it's all jumbled up but my brothers and sisters I know this is a rather unorthodox way of reaching you but my message still holds true even after all this time there has been a misconception that only the good goes to heaven because we are all created inherently to be good. That is our natural state of being, for it's only when we allow the human part of the our exit well, it's only when we allow the human part of our existence to overpower the spiritual part of us, which blocks our soul's natural responses and evolution. When you open your heart to the unconditional love that surrounds you and resides within you, only then can you become your true authentic self. Each of us have the capability to love, live in peace and find joy in every moment. But moreover, you have the ability to forgive and love others unconditionally too, even those that do not wish to receive it. The choice is ultimately yours. Do you only give love to receive it back? Or do you give love without conditions or boundaries? The more love and kindness you show to others, the more you will receive in return, even if it comes in the, in the way you least expect it. Sorry. For God, your Father, loves you unconditionally, even when you don't return the sentiment. And all he asks, of his children is to follow his lead. I am always here for you, never doubt my devotion and love for all of you. You are all the beloved children of our Heavenly Father who loves without condition or motive. He asks you to consider doing this now too. For when you give love to others, you are working for him, spreading his love and proving that in him, we are all worthy of the kingdom of heaven. And that is a message. And I've hopefully done it justice. I've probably missed out sections of it. I was trying to write down as much of it as I could. But I feel that is a strong message for us all to take that message in our heart and use it as our strength to find unconditional love and forgiveness in our heart for everyone. Um, even when we feel we don't have the strength to do it. And as I say, I know there's going to come a time very soon for me where this is going to become very much a reality and I'm going to have to use this beautiful message and my time with Jesus today in prayer and in meditation to fuel my strength and courage in order to do that. So this is just a very quick message. I'm going to go and read my... Um, do my reading now, my twin flame reading, but I hope this message finds who it's meant for and I hope you enjoy the love that comes through this message from Lord Jesus and I'm going to close on the Lord's Prayer. Now everyone does the Lord's Prayer differently, this is the the, the way I do it um, and hopefully you enjoy and, and join in with me too. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who are our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, forever and always. Amen. So, 
that's that is my message and I look forward to bringing you a uh, reading through in my next video. So take care. Namaste.